perfect. Hello, everyone. Again, my name is Larissa Worley. I'm the senior customer support with Travel 42. Um, so if you ever have any questions or you ever um, contact us directly, it'll probably be me, excuse me, me that you'll be talking to. First off, I wanted to start by showing you the non-logged in homepage. So this is where you would go as soon as you go to the new Travel 42 site, which is what I will be going over today. You'll see a register now button as well as a sign in button. So if you currently have a Travel 42 subscription, your user ID and password will work to sign you in. If you do not have a current Travel 42 subscription and you want to try it out, click the register now button and you'll be eligible for a 14 day free trial. That is only to new subscribers. So if you do, if you say had a subscription in the past and want to try it again, let me know. That way you can get access to the new Travel 42 site. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my user ID and password. And just to give you a little background on Travel 42, think of Travel 42 as your content destination. We have unbiased content on destinations, on hotels, on cruises. We also have um, those cruise schedules as well. So you'll be able to add or send any of that information to your clients. Give me one moment to upload. Let's see. Here we go. Sorry about that. I had to disconnect from something. So this is the logged in page. As soon as you get logged into Travel 42, this is what you're going to see. You'll see a banner up at the top, which if you scroll through has some of our, um, our sister products such as Mobio, Access Travel app. If you want to see more information about those, you simply just click on the banner itself. Um, we do also have hotel and destination spotlight. So here's our hotel spotlight, as well as our destination spotlight. So this will constantly be changing. You'll notice a news and alerts tab. News and alerts has some of our sister products, blogs, as well as our recently updated destinations and recently updated hotels, travel alerts, Travel Age West, Travel Weekly, and Travel Pulse. Restrictions, these are powered by Sherpa. So this will show you any restrictions that your clients may be traveling to. So if we clicked on that, a map will populate and you will be able to see exactly what your traveler will need if they're going to a specific location and coming back from that location. So this is very helpful. E-Visa, if you needed to purchase any E-Visas before your, or before your client's trip, and then the help tab. If you click on the help tab, this will pull up all of our pre-recorded webinars, our getting started guides, frequently asked questions, support and troubleshooting. And you can also submit a request here. Um, if you ever have any trouble getting started with the new site, this is where I would go. You can search for something as simple as logging in or um, I don't know how to send a trip plan and it'll pull up anything pertaining to that. But you can also start with some of these up here at the top. Now this opened up a separate tab, so I'll simply go back to my other tab, which was the Travel 42 website. So let's go back to the dashboard. Oh, goodness gracious. Sign in again, I'm sorry about that, you guys. So on the dashboard, you'll notice a search bar. If you log in and you say, I wanna see Australia right now, you could simply type in Australia and click enter. We'll do that just to show you how to quickly send information or print information. So if my client wants to see information on Australia, you'll notice the destination guides pop up first, then I have hotels, cruise lines, and cruise ships. So if you see what you want to get to from this right here, simply click on it. It'll take you to the destination guide or it'll take you to that specific hotel or that specific cruise line or cruise ship. If you wanna see all search results on one page, you simply click the magnifying glass or push enter on your keyboard. That will bring up all of our search results. So I'll see all the destination guides, the see and do, hotels, cruise ships, et cetera, et cetera. You can see the amount over here to the left. So if I wanted to simply look at hotels, I don't need to look at destination guides. You would click on the hotels tab and then you can filter your hotels. You'll also notice when you hover over an item, you'll see add item, view details, send, print, compare. 
Compare, you can compare up to three properties as of now. Send and print would send and print everything within this hotel. View details would allow you to view the details we have within this hotel and add item would add this hotel to a trip plan. So let's go ahead and look at view details just to see what is included within a hotel overview or hotel information itself. So you have the overview, which includes your basic information. You have photo gallery and then booking info, which is not included within a client's report. So you don't have to worry about that ever being sent. Then you have your star review. This is our unbiased hotel review. We physically send our agents to the properties and review everything that they see. Then you have the property information, which includes room amenities, hotel facilities, restaurants on site, meeting facilities, recreation rates and policies and location, and then a map. So you can see exactly where this hotel is listed on the map. Now this star review, we unfortunately do not have a star review for every single property within Travel 42. So if you get to a property and you notice there is no star review on that property, it means that that hotel has not been reviewed by one of our agents. You will still notice we have the overview property and map, but the star review would just be gone. Now, look at these breadcrumbs up here at the top. Basically, if I wanted to go back to where I was, you would click on these breadcrumbs or this X. I like utilizing the breadcrumbs in my opinion because I know exactly where I'm going to end up. So if I want to go back to search Australia, I would click on that. Back to my hotels tab. And if you only want to see properties that have a star review, you can click on this little checkbox right here and that will show you only um, hotels that do have a star review. So then you know that all of these are going to be reviewed. Um, we also have the map view, which is cool. So if I click on the map view, pulls me up to Australia. So I see all the hotels around Australia. But if say there's an area that maybe I don't know of, or I want to search other areas, you can move the map around and it'll show you hotels in different areas. So let's see, let's take this star review off and see how many would populate. Let's back up to figure out where I am. Here we go. So you'll see, I have some hotels that populate here. I have some others that will populate over to the left as well. So you can zoom in. There's 45 hotels there and there they all are. That way you can see exactly where they are on the map. If you wanted to scooch over to the right, just drag the map over to the right and more hotels will populate. Um, so let's go back to our view over here. So now I have everything. Now we've already viewed the details for the hotel. We know what's included in the hotel. The next options would be to send and print. Now, if I logged in and just wanted to send some information on a certain hotel, I would send right here. It's a quick way to send it, click on it. You'll be able to pull up your client's name by email or name since I already have them saved. If you don't have them saved, um, then you do need to create a new traveler. You can do that by clicking create new traveler here. It'll prompt you to add the first name, last name and email address, which is all the information we need to add a traveler. You can also add address information and then preferences. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. So I'm gonna put in my traveler, there she is right there. If you wanted to receive a copy, you can click send me a copy. If you don't want to receive a copy, you can uncheck that and then click send. Now I've just sent the Amora Hotel, Jameson, Sydney. So that is all that I sent to my client just now. Um, you can print it as well. That'll pull up a PDF. So you notice that it opened up another tab. And here we go. Let's see what the PDF for that hotel looks like. So you can save this to your computer. You can add it to a, a email that you've already drafted yourself if you didn't want to send it directly from Travel 42. Um, and then send and print. So those would only be quick send or quick print. And here's the PDF version. So I have three pages. Everything is included there. Now you can print it by clicking your printer icon, or you can download it to your computer if you wanted to use it at a, another time. So like I said, that opened up a separate tab. So I'm gonna go back into Travel 42. 
And you'll notice send and print are also up here in the upper left when I get into the hotel itself. So if you wanted to send and print the hotel from within the hotel, these buttons do exactly the same thing. So this will quickly print or send all of this information. If you wanted to customize what you send or print, that's called creating a trip plan. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. The dashboard is your homepage. You'll notice down here are my trip plans. These are trip plans that I've already created. You can go as, as in depth as a whole itinerary for your clients. Or if you have places, say, say you specialize in Las Vegas hotels, or you have certain hotels that you always recommend to your clients, you can always create a trip plan, add those hotels or destination guides and reuse that information by clicking duplicate. But you'll see for this one, I don't have a, a client. I don't have any travel dates. I last modified it on the 13th. So if I wanted to go in and send the information I have in hotels I recommend, I'd click the blue dot, send, print, or download, or copy URL. Copy URL will condense everything you have in that trip plan into a URL. So you can then paste it in an email you've already drafted, or you can send it via text message if you wanted to, but it'll pull up everything that's included in this trip plan and put it into a URL for you to use. To create a trip plan, if you wanna create a customized report and not do the quick send or quick print, you're gonna click create new trip here. Ooh, and one more thing I wanna mention, travelers. I showed you a moment ago where you can add the travelers to the send portion. You can also add your travelers here at the bottom of the dashboard. So if you're gonna be sending trip plans to yourself, if you're gonna be sending trip plans to Brittany or any one of your travelers, make sure that they are added as a traveler here by adding a first name, last name, or email address, and then saving that client. Once you have them added once, you do not need to add them again. You can then send them whatever information you wanna send them out of Travel 42. But let's go ahead and click Create New Trip, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly do a customized trip plan. You can make this as in-depth as you want or as simple as you want. So if you wanted to make this as simple as possible, as quick as possible to get it out, the only thing that you need is a trip plan name. That's it. You don't have to have a traveler, a departure, or a return. You don't have to have an image. You can leave all of these checked and then create new trip to add information to that. But I'm going to show you kind of what each thing means. So trip plan name. Let's go ahead and put in Rome. Uh, Rome vacation. Especially prepared for, both of these are optional and you can add them later on, but especially prepared for would be if you wanted to name this like Whirly Family Vacation or the Whirly Girls or just something that's not one person's name. Travelers, if you wanted to put your traveler in there, you can go ahead and search for them by email or name or create a traveler by clicking the plus sign. Suggested retail price. Um, a lot of agents will use this as kind of like how much this report would cost if the traveler went and got this information on their own. Obviously, you're doing all of this work for them. So you can leave that blank like I have, or you can put in a cost. I think it's automatically, um, once you sign up, it automatically starts at $29.95, but you can add that in yourself or remove it if you needed to. Departure and return, if you already know that information, you can put that in. But if this is just the beginning of creating this trip plan, it might be more research-based. So you don't have to have this there immediately. Comments are displayed to clients, trip notes are not displayed to clients, and then the layout. These are some options that you have. So you can show the cover page, show trip summary, include the business card, which is your information. You can show images in online view, show images in PDF view, and you can also add your own cover photo by uploading or linking an image. If you do not add a cover photo, that is totally fine. We will pick one based on the information that you add into this trip plan. So if you have a photo that of, say, something that you took from the trip plan you're about to create, go ahead and add it in there. It'll be a nice little touch. But if you don't have anything, just let us pick one from the information that you add to this trip plan. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create New Trip, and this will bring us to our workspace. 
So there is nothing added in here now. I have zero destination guide, zero hotel, zero cruise, zero see and do, and zero custom places. Um, custom place is something that you can add. Say there's a, a Airbnb or something that may not be within Travel 42, or maybe a restaurant or a point of interest that's not in there. You can add a custom place by clicking this plus sign. It'll pull up this, add custom place modal. If you put in the website of that custom place, we may be able to fill in this information for you. But if not, you simply just need to type in the name, the place type, the address, the phone number, and then any information you want your traveler to be able to see. Um, so let's go ahead and start by searching. So you notice on the dashboard, I have the same search bar. Here I have the, the same search bar. So I would begin by typing either destination guides, hotels, see and do, cruises, and more. So if you know the specific name of the hotel you're wanting to search for and add to your trip plan, go ahead and type that hotel name here. I'm going to start kind of more wide. I'm going to go in with Rome. I have the same drop down that populates that we saw earlier, but I'm going to go ahead. You know what? We'll go in this way. I'm going to go ahead and click Rome, Italy under destination guides, because that is what I want to add to this trip plan is information on Rome, Italy, not Rome, Georgia. So let's go ahead and click Rome, Italy. Perfect. This is my destination guide. So it looks very similar to the hotels that I pulled up a moment ago. It just has more information. So you'll see the overview tab, the see and do tab the dining tab, the safety tab, tips, events, hotels. If you needed to get to hotels, you can still get to those from the destination guide, cruises and related. You'll also notice the check boxes. These were very similar to what we saw in the hotel section when we were looking at that specific hotel. So if you wanted to add items to this trip plan, all you have to do is start by checking boxes. I want the photo gallery. I want the introduction, the highlights, the geography, history. I'm not gonna do port information, but I'm gonna do potpourri and hotel overview. If I decide I don't want the geography any longer, I simply just need to go and uncheck geography. It is no longer in that trip plan. You can also apply a destination template by clicking apply destination template. If you don't wanna scroll through all of this information, if you already know the bits and pieces that you wanna to add to a trip plan, simply click apply destination template. I have it saved so it'll automatically select the full template because then I like to go in and uncheck as needed, but you can utilize the full business cruise leisure or go in and start unchecking items here to customize it yourself. I didn't save that, so that template wasn't added, but that's just another way you can get into it. See and do is the next tab, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one. We'll add some sightseeing items, and you'll notice the check boxes are over on the right as well. Um, so you can check items on the right or up in the upper left-hand corner. Keep scrolling. This one is a very in-depth destination guide. So let's go ahead and add golf, boating and sailing, hiking and walking that spas and health clubs um, and this added all spas and health clubs so if you see a checkbox beside add all it's going to add all of that information if you decide there's something you don't want you just simply need to uncheck it swimming perfect i'm still adding information and you'll notice once you get to the bottom I don't really wanna to have to go back up to the top to get to the next tab, which was the dining tab. So you can go back to the overview tab or to the right, go to the dining, which is the next tab. Um, and you'll also see some of these gold ticket items. These are some of our favorited items. So you can add those as well to the trip plan by checking them. Let's go to the next tab, dining. Um, and everything that you see that I'm doing right now is included in the monthly fee. There's no extra fee to do anything within Travel 42. It's all included with your one monthly fee. Um, and there's an unlimited amount of information. Obviously, if you're going to print something, you don't want to print a whole lot of pages. So be mindful if you're going to print not to add too much. But if you're going to be sending the information or copying the URL, um, for a trip plan, you can add as many items as you want, as many destination guides, as many hotels, um, the list goes on and on. 
So dining, I went ahead and checked all of dining, but now that I'm looking at it, I decided I don't want other options, steakhouses or seafood. So I simply unchecked that. The safety tab is gonna be our next tab, which includes etiquette, personal safety, health, and then a disabled advisory. I'll add that as well. Tips is my favorite tab, especially these do's and don'ts. Um, okay, so we're in the Rome destination guide and one of their items is don't bathe in the city's fountains. They are considered monuments and you will risk being arrested or fined. That is a very good piece of information. Um, to have, especially if you have a traveler that may not have ever been there before. Um, I know a lot of times in the United States, there are fountains that you can get into, but definitely don't do that in Rome. So I'm going to add that information. Oh, and don't expect to eat dinner at a local restaurant before 7.30 or 8, and lunch is rarely served before 12.30 or 1. That's kind of different from my schedule, but it would be very beneficial to know before I went to Rome. Um, geostats, that one's the passport visa requirements, telephone codes, voltage requirements, money, if they're doing any currency exchanges, tipping, whether and what to wear or two, I definitely like to add. Um, but you can add every single piece of this destination guide if you wanted to. Just please be mindful when you're printing um, that it might be a lot of pages. You can also print front and back. So that kind of helps free up some space. And then also, in the beginning, when we were creating the trip plan, there was the option to remove photos from the PDF. That might be something we want to do if it's going to be a long trip plan, because you, you kind of want them to read the words, not necessarily see the pictures when you're printing. So if you're printing a lengthy destination guide or trip plan, you could remove that the images from that as well. So then you have events. And please note that all destination guides are not the same. Rome is going to be a pretty lengthy destination guide, but you might come across one that doesn't really have much, that has kind of an overview only. If that's the case, you can always go down to the related tab, and that'll show you nearby destinations that may have more information. So I'm going to go in here and add events. Then we're going to go down to our hotels tab. So you have pretty much the same filters here that we had under the search results initially. So you can click filter hotels. You can show only hotels with a review. You can show a certain star or amenity rating. You can search by hotel name, chain or hotel rep, hotel size, and then also hotel preferences, locations, and type. Um, so if you don't wanna see just a big long list of hotels, you can filter down to what you're actually looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and add item. Add item, remember, we'll add this item to a trip plan. Now it adds everything. It doesn't customize it for you. So it'll add that whole hotel information. So let's click view details on this one. So like we saw earlier, I could go ahead and check overview, star review, and then I'm not going to check property and map. I'll just leave those blank. So let's go back to our Rome hotels. Perfect. I think we've added everything. And also one thing we are working on. These send and print buttons, as we saw earlier, will quickly send and print whatever you are in. So if I am in Rome, it is only going to send and print Rome. It's not going to take into account my selections to print or send the trip plan I just created. We need to go back to the dashboard. Click on this little circle right here and click send, print, download, excuse me, send, print, or download, or copy URL. This is the only way to ensure that your trip plan that you customized will be sent or printed. If you use any of the other send or print buttons within Travel 42, it's only going to send or print what you are under, whether that be a destination guide or a hotel. Um, what I'm going to do, though, because... This this could be it. If you wanted to be done creating your trip plan, you don't want to do anything else with it. You just want to send the information you added. Simply send, print, or copy URL. If you want to view the trip plan and kind of do, do some optional things like um, scheduling it or changing the order, we're going to go ahead and click open or click on the name of the trip plan. So this brings me to my workspace. This is all of the information that I collected into my trip plan. I have one destination guide, 
I have three hotels, and then I have 110 see and do items. I did not add any cruise or custom place. If you needed to edit something, you would simply click on what you want to edit, and it will take you right back there to check or uncheck more items. The optional tabs that you can utilize are clicking organize or preview. Organize will allow you to change the order of the information within your trip plan or schedule on a calendar. So you can drag and drop onto the calendar if you wanna actually put it into an itinerary. So collect, this is where you go to see all the items that you've added to your trip plan. You can search for more items or you can delete items from your trip plan. Organize will allow you to change the order or schedule and you can only do one or the other. So you can only change the order or schedule if it's something that you want to do with your trip plan. Preview allows you to see what your clients are going to see when you send this trip plan. So if I send this to my traveler right now, this is what they're going to see. The cover page, the trip summary, and then the Rome Italy destination guide, then our hotels that we added. So I am now done with this trip plan. If I wanted to send or print from here, you have that same blue dot that we had on the dashboard. If I click it, I have the same options that I had on the dashboard. I can send, I can print download, or I can copy URL. If I wanted to delete the trip plan, I could delete. If I am done completely and want to start on something new, I need to remember to click save and close. So now I have completed that trip plan and it is now saved. If I ever needed to reuse it in the future, I can open it or I can click this little dot to the left and then I still have my action items. So if I wanted to open this trip plan again, just click open or the name of the trip plan and you have those same steps that you can go through. If I wanted to edit Rome, Italy, I wanted to add some more information to it. Always add or remove from collect then organize, then preview. And then, like I said, be sure when you're done with a trip plan to save and close so that Travel 42 knows that you are no longer adding information to that trip plan. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that is everything we have with the trip plans themselves. Um, I did just get a question come through. What is Mobio? Mobio is actually one of our... Um, sister products, you would say, it basically allows you to connect to the internet when you're traveling internationally and also allows you to pull up some of Travel 42's points of interest. So if you're somewhere near a point of interest, it'll pull up all those points of interest that might be near you. Um, so to find out more information, of course, you just need to click on uh, this banner. Same with the rest of them, Access Travel App, that's one of our sister products. Um, that is an itinerary builder. So that would be if your clients already have their trip planned and you just want to import the information. And then you have hotel spotlight and then our destination spotlight. So one more thing that I kind of want to go into before we end and get to the question and answer portion. Up here in the upper right corner, you have three more options. You have profile, manage account, and sign out. Obviously, sign out will sign you out of Travel 42. Please remember to do this if you plan on using another computer to log in because you can only be logged in once. Manage account, I'm not gonna get into manage account, but manage account basically is where you can change your user ID and password. You can add credit card information. If you're an account administrator on a group account, you can add users or remove users. Manage account is where you would go to simply manage your whole account. Profile, this is what I'm gonna click on. So this is your business card. You'll notice when I was in preview of my trip plan, you saw my headshot, my logo, and then the information I wanted my travelers to see. So I put in my first name, last name, phone numbers, websites, email address, company name. You can put in any amount of items here, whatever you want to put in. Your clients will be able to see that and contact you from here. Preferences, definitely go through this as well. Um, you'll notice when I created my trip plan earlier, I did not have a suggested retail price. That is because I removed it from here. I literally deleted it and then clicked save. 
Um, this is the client view preferences portion. So whatever pertains to you or whatever you want your clients to see, you can add or remove. Report items. This is where you go to pre-select the template that will populate. So my template is saved as the full guide, but you can go ahead and automatically divert to the business, the cruise, or the leisure. Um, you also have options as to what gets sent to your client. The email, you can write the subject. You need to have a subject to your email, especially nowadays with email providers. Um, a lot of email providers will automatically kick out an email if it doesn't have a subject. Sometimes it does come through, but I suggest always having a subject. You can edit that for all trip plans here or all sent items here. And you can also opt to copy me on everything, which I have done. I always copy myself so I receive a copy of the trip plan or the information that I sent, excuse me. Um, the search preferences. So this would be how you search. If you only ever want to see hotels with star reviews, simply click on that and hit save. It'll only show you the star reviews. But I do like to see all of the properties and then I'll narrow it down from there in my personal preference. Um, so I'm going to put my business card up for a moment while we're getting any questions that may come up. Um, please take down my email address. That's the best way to get in contact with me. Obviously, we can speak on the phone too, um, but a lot of times if I'm on a phone call, I can't answer the phone. So definitely leave a message if you call and we don't answer. Um, but email is just, it's just so much easier. I can answer you um, after hours if need be, if it's an emergency through email. Um, but take that down just in case you have any questions. Um, and I'll go ahead and leave a little bit of time right now to answer questions. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, um, but definitely answer any or ask any questions that you may have.